Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. What's going on, the people? Let me your boy Cam Topical Juice, and we are back with episode four of Love Is Blind. Now I can't lie. This episode, it gave what it needed to give. Then we're flying out to Mexico. Now, true say your boy is emotionally intelligent, innit? And like, a lot of the things I've clocked in people in this show is coming to light. Like, at the very start of this episode, I thought to myself, Irina and Zach, they don't like each other. Or Irina don't like him anyway. Boom! What happens? By the end of the episode, she's like, yeah, I've got an ick from my man. And I'm like, rah. But we'll talk, we'll talk about that when we get there. But anyway, man, let's done the waffling thing. We've got so much to cover in this episode. It could be a long one, could be a juicy one, could be a topical juicy one, you get me? So like the video for me, hit the bell to be notified for me. Please press that subscribe button for me. It's roll to 50K. Um, if you want to support your boys merchandise, you know the damn thing. It's in the description below, tjmerch.store. Get yourself a pillow, you know what I'm saying? And I will see your boy. Got my hair done today. Then fresh retwists and fresh trims. God damn. Oh, God damn. Oh yeah, we looking good. The episode starts here with, it's a long one, as I said, I've got hella notes. Oh yeah, Zach and Irina meeting. So boom, straight off, straight out the bat, I am so glad their relationship has panned out the way it has. Let's cut straight to the chase. Irina wants no parts of Zach, Nish. She's got the ick from him, she's not attracted to him. It's so funny, because, Irina is really a shit girl. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. She's a shit person. But I've written it down, so we'll get there when we get there. But some of the things she says is really immature and could really rub people up the wrong way. She's bitchy, she's, she's a mean girl. Especially, this is someone, yeah, who is extremely self-conscious for having spots, bro, and having acne. Like, you wouldn't think it. The way this girl behaves, you would think she's the it girl. Regina George from Mean Girl type thing, bro. But bro, like, she, she, you weren't, you got bullied for having acne, so humble yourself. And I don't mean that in a bad way, you get me? Like, I'm just saying how it is. I'm sorry that you had acne, I'm, I would hate that. I can't imagine what that feels like. I know that affects people badly. But they're usually humble afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Because they've had to deal with negativity from other people, judgment from other people, shallowness from other people that only feeds into their insecurities. She is that person. She is the mean girl, she is the bully. She's the person that, feeds other people's insecurities about themselves. So it's just funny, it's ironic that she went through all this madness allegedly for having acne and then she's a bitch. But anyway, when they met, it was awkward, bro. It was some awkward interaction. There was nothing, there was dead, it was dead, graveyard type settings, bro. No chemistry. Going back to what I was meant to say, I, I lose track sometimes. I'm so happy it's panned out the way it's panned out for them. Cause one, Zach, I'm happy you've got mugged off and she's got the ick by you. I'm happy because of that, cause you chose the wrong one. <laughs> I'm happy Irina ain't get, got the love of her life cause you don't deserve it. Like this girl actually had the audacity to say that he looks like a cartoon character. I was like, what? And he then proposed to her. He says, yeah, she's got a beautiful heart. She cares about other people. What? What, what are you basing that off? The, ne the very next scene, Irina confirms what I thought. Straight away she goes, ah, ah, I thought Zach would look a bit more normal. And I was like, what? this girl, she is mad. She, he, he look, I mean, he is a weirdo, don't get me wrong, but still, like, come on, man. She said, oh yeah, she is attracted to him, but she just has to get used to him. This type of verbiage, this type of lingo, is not what you want to hear from someone who's, who's basically meant to be your wife. Even when he proposed and, and did the singing thing, like, bearing in mind, she confirms later that she doesn't even like singing. It wasn't just awkward because he was the dead singer. And he's making up that he writes music when he doesn't. He stole that song from, he stole that song from like a song that's like 15 years ago. I was not only awkward because he's such a terrible singer. I was awkward because I was detecting her awkwardness. You know anyone's there? Just, I man was getting secondhand awkwardness. Pre-loved awkwardness. You know anyone's there? Anyway, the couples then head, head to Mexico. You get it? They didn't go, they didn't fly out to Mexico. Like, bro, I'll tell you all about Mexico. Cancun 2018. Spring break. Boy. <sighs> Where 2018 our presence was felt. When the couples get to Mexico and they're having like those B-roll shots of all the couples arriving, oh my God. There was, a, there was like a five second clip of Zach and Irina and Zach's there, they're on the balcony and Zach goes to give, I think he, what's he do? Yeah, Zach tries to give her a little peck on the lips and she goes, whoa, hugs my man. Every single bit of verbiage that she used and her physical demeanor, her body language, it was, it was screaming, get away from me. This proves that these social experiments, they don't work like that. I mean, yeah, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get a lot of, you'll get some people, yeah, who, who have bonded with someone's personality through the wall, that it doesn't even matter what they look like. But guys, I'll stand, I'll die on this hill. It, you have to be attracted to someone. You think I could be in Mexico and a gal would treat me like Irina did Zach? <laughs> not me, boy, not TJ, not TJ. TJ the man that makes girls break their, Abstinence for you, get it? <laughs> so, let me not talk too much. But 
I'd be picking up on this. He has clocked it, but he's he's just trying to he's just trying not to believe it. Micah and Paul, their whole dynamics a bit awkward. If I'm being honest, I, Micah is purely she's trash. She's trash as well. She was proper conniving and, and intentional with her moves with Kwame later in the episode, but we'll get to that. Chelsea and Kwame, they talk about how much they love each other. They've got a lot of sexual chemistry. She just wants to get her back blown now, bro. That's what it was. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, she knows it's not just a fling and it's not just a hookup, and that's why she's done it. But girls like that are funny because ultimately it looks like it is just a hookup, to be honest because as far as he's concerned, he ain't even over Micah yet. He's not even fully invested in you yet. So this whole spiritual connection that Chelsea's got and this thing that she's holding on to and the fact that it's not just a, a fling, this is, you know, I'm giving myself, I'm giving my body to this person that I've got to know over the last week and we're soulmates and all this stuff. Um, that's only in your mind, bro. <laughs> you get it? Kwame's thinking about next blonde things. Kwame, Kwame's got Micah on the mind. Marshmello and Jackie, yeah, she, again, she's another one, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't buy it. Like, first things first, I don't buy that she's that interested in Marshall. It could be an unpopular opinion. We'll see, we'll see if you don't agree with me. It's, it, I, I believe that's probably an unpopular opinion, but I don't really believe she's into Marshall like that. Now, she even, she even says, ah, oh, if this was real life, I would have swiped. Cause she's got a specific type. She, very obvious what her type is, who part. Big, basically big six foot five black donnies. He's, I mean, he's, he's half of that, he's black. He ain't big though. But when someone, I don't know, when someone says it like that, I just feel like that's what they're thinking. And all the crying, yeah, the really breakdown in tears, I'm a bit torn about that. But I'll, I'll get to that when, I'll get to that in a minute. But then again, do you know what's funny? Because this soft guy, yeah, he's like, oh, um, talking about intimacy, um, do we have to wait to get married to be intimate? All this stuff. And I'm like, bro, why are you talking like that? You gotta you got come with a lot more, you gotta come with different energy. First thing, you, you, you just growl in her ear, grr, and you say, yo, what position do you want to in first? You know the ones there, not, um, oh yeah. Um, so on the topic of intimacy, uh, do we have to? And she's like, no. <laughs> she's literally like, no, like, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I wanna buy a car, I wanna drive it first. And that's, listen, that's big facts. So she, she was ready to get her back blown out and he's just too, he's Marshmallow. Marshmallow is Marshmallow for a reason, guys, yeah? Zach says to Irina, yeah, you look a bit like Megan Fox. Have you ever heard that before? Good joke. <laughs> Zach and Irina, they didn't, they, they didn't go for dinner and this girl is hilarious. This is where I knew she was lying out of her big mouth, yeah? She says, oh yeah, like no sex before marriage. And she likes the fact that he respects that boundaries and she wants to respect each other's bodies like friends. Is this what you say to someone you're getting married to? Is this what you say to someone that you're attracted to? So before she even admitted she had the ick, all these things she's saying, I'm scratching my head thinking, she hates this guy. Because there's no way I can get to know a girl for, for a week, yeah? Her say that she's in love with me, in love with me. She accepts my pr proposal just for her to then meet me in real life and switch her tone completely. It ain't gonna happen. It's just not, in fact, it's not happening. It's not, it's not happening, like, it's just not gonna run. And in my mind, I was thinking, you're capping. In my mind, I was literally thinking, I bet you've woken up to one night stand after one night stand after one night stand. I, I said to myself, I bet you got your back blown out before you even went onto the show, you know what I'm saying? By someone else that you're attracted to. Tiffany and Brett, they have, they go for a dinner. I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna skip past them. Tiffany and Brett are winners, by the way. They're, they're a perfect couple. They're, they're exactly what this social experiment should look like. But I'm, I'm just gonna skip past them because they've kind of, they, they've kind of completed the game already, you know what I'm saying? So Micah and Paul are in bed, and again, there's awkwardness there, bro. I'll keep it true. I'm not 100% right in this life. There's a lot of things I get wrong, yeah? But human, humans, and body language, and things like that, I know it, I know it very well. And Micah and Paul, they're not it. You know what I'm saying? There's no spark there. There's niche, no spark there whatsoever. I'm sorry, there ain't. And they can try and force it, there ain't. And they just have some awkwardness in bed, and then, the next morning comes around, yeah? Like, I reckon she tried to have sex with him. I reckon he couldn't get up or something. Because the next morning, Paul's like, oh, I really wanted to have sex with you last night. But uh, it's, I think it's just better that we waited. And I'm like, I'm just thinking, said the person who probably couldn't get up. Now, don't get me wrong, listen. Even the best of us, we have bad days. Don't worry, I've been there. I ain't, I ain't no, but I'm not, I'm not above the rest. I've had bad days. It gets like that. But don't try and gloss it up like, oh yeah, I, I really would love to have sex with you, but I just didn't really know. I'm just glad we didn't. Like, you wanted to, but you didn't because what? What happened? Fill in the blanks for me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this show, this show, some, some random stuff happens in this show and we don't really know how we got there. Like Jackie crying, crying her absolute eyes out. How did we get there? 
But we'll, we'll get we'll get to that. And yeah, again, Zach and Irina were in bed before, and they, yeah, she, it was all, it was just awkward. It was just awkward. The, like the teddy, she's literally using his sentimental teddy bear as a barrier between the two of them because she's that icked out. Yeah, Chelsea and Kwame, they end up getting intimate. Basically, he 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 yeah he beat that. Yeah, he beat that like a drum still. And we knew that was coming. By the looks of things, it was a bit too soon, Chelsea darling, because he was probably, listen, he probably busts a nut thinking about my car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's stroking you. She's going, oh my God, Kwame. And he, he's just thinking, oh, oh, my car, oh. And she, whoops, I mean, Chelsea, Chelsea. Uh. And Brett and Tiffany get intimate, but because she's on the Reds, it's that time of the month, she didn't want to be intimate with him. She ended up slopping him off. <laughs> she ended up giving him that slop top. You know what I'm saying? Like the good guac guac 3000. He ended up getting that good knowledge, that good cranium. You know what I'm saying? So the nail in the coffin for Irina and Zach was the morning when they woke up. She literally goes, oh, when I woke up, I was thinking, how did he get here in my bed? She's literally looking at this guy thinking, like her knee jerk reaction is, what am I doing here with him? But then she even said to him, she was thinking, ah, oh, like not this again. So, as, so as in the way she framed it to him was like, Basically, she, she tried to allude to the fact that, oh, not this again, like I've just woken up with a stranger in my bed. And so you, so you, so you basically admitted that you do get intimate with people. Most likely one that stands that you probably don't even know their name, but you can't even let this man kiss you on the lips. You can't even let this man hug you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's madness, it's madness to me. And she's really like, oh yeah, good things take time. Like, like a best friend. And I'm like, oh, this lingo. Be it my, the girl that I like or supposedly like, talking about best friend and Slow, taking it slow, all this stuff, yeah, whatever. Marsh and Jackie, so Marshmallow, right? They're on a date before she breaks down into tears. She has a good date with him. And it's so funny, she says to, she says to Marshmallow, listen, I'm not, when it, when, we come, when it comes to home, I'm not worried about you in the slightest. I, I literally nearly choked. <laughs> I literally nearly, when she said that, I, I choked. Because it's not a bad thing. Obviously, it's not a bad thing that she doesn't worry about him. She trusts him. But the way she said it, you know why she's saying that, innit? It's because he's soft. <laughs> it's because he's soft. He's, he's too sensitive. She can walk all over him. And you have to listen to the words she says. I need someone like you. She doesn't want someone like him. She recognises that she probably needs someone like him, a good balance, someone to, to, to kind of nullify her fire and rah, rah, rah. But she doesn't want someone like him. You really have to read between the lines of what people say here, guys. She ain't interested in Marshmallow like that. I'm sorry, she ain't. Yeah, she might skin out. Yeah, she might she might whip off the panties for him. Yeah, that doesn't mean nothing. Doesn't mean she loves the guy. Most girls skin out. You know what I'm saying? Most humans do so. Most boys we have one night stands. It's normal. So she might sleep with a guy, but she she don't fancy him like that. You know what I'm saying? She even said, "I'm not worried about you. You're soft. I'm worried about me." <laughs> and if I'm see if I was Marshmallow, I'd be sitting here thinking, "Why would she say that? Why would she say I'm worried? Like she's worried about her own self. She's worried about her own actions. And because he's so sensitive and such a good guy, he's kind of like, oh yeah, no, don't worry. You ain't got, you know, you ain't got to overthink it and stuff, you know. And she's like, yo, when I when I go home, I could switch back to who I was. That's not just a fear. That's her. That's actually her speaking what she's feeling. Do you understand that, guys? She really is looking at him, thinking, damn, I know this ain't my type. I know he's good for me. She's 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 upset because. Or she's getting a bit worried because there's a conflict here. She's having a conflict in her mind. This guy is good for me. I don't really fancy him like that. I know he's a good balance for me, but he's not really my usual type. I need him, but I don't want him. That's, it's a conflict. You can see it. She's having a conflict in her mind. And honestly, this Marshall guy's like, yo, I'm, I will never walk away. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'll never walk away. We're in it for the long haul, girl. We're in it for, we're in it for life, girl. You know what I'm saying? And he, he literally said, you know, I was the type that used to walk away when it gets hard. You. Fam, you wouldn't walk away if a burglar was breaking into your household at gunpoint, bro. You try and come downstairs and say, oh, let me, let me read you a poem, man. To, let, let me, let's talk about this. Let, let's, why do you think you're breaking into my home, bro? You know, this, fam, just, just walk away. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he wouldn't walk away from nothing. Zach and Irene are on a boat and yeah, I, fam. It's funny because I like the way he says certain things that aren't nice to hear from a girl's perspective as well. He's like, oh yeah, I didn't really come here from a, for a hookup or a hot girl. <laughs> Well, but my brother, you got neither. <laughs> you didn't get a hookup. She sure as hell ain't hot. And you didn't get marriage. <laughs> you got that, you got, you got, you came out with a big L, with a big donut, with a big flat pastry on your head. And I want to give you donut of the day, but donut of the day, I'm saving that for one more person. Marsh and Jackie, they go back to the hotel, right? And she just bursts into tears. And guys, you lot know me for, if you're new, you see my previous three episodes. The waterworks don't do it for me. Now don't get me wrong. The reason why I said earlier I was a bit conflicted is because I literally thought, what are you crying about? But then when it kind of, when the conversation went on, it was clear that she was 
well, not clear. That's why I'm, that's why I'm a bit 50 50. But it was, it was more evident that she was talking about like how being in the moment here is great, but then she's got it's only temporary. So like I, I understand that and I, I empathize with that. I, I appreciate that, you know, things, this good moment, these highs, but you know you've got some shit to go back to, you feel me? I just don't really feel like she was crying because of that. Now again, you could call me bad mind, you could call me insensitive. Bruh, if you had so much family to, that, that, that depended on you and you got to do so much stuff, why did you apply to go on the show in the first place, bro? That's just big facts. Like, you knew you, you, knew you were going on a show where you would act, actively be away from your home for weeks to get to know someone, Mexico, marriage. Like, why would you, first thing says, why would you apply for the show knowing that you're gonna go abroad and all this stuff? So that's where my, and my empathy's already, my sympathy's already capped. But secondly, it just felt like, I personally felt she cried, she was crying because she don't fuck with my man. That's what I, that's, I'm calling it now. I personally feel that she was upset because deep, deep, deep down, she don't want marshmallow. This girl wants bread. If, if, if this girl wants Brett and she even had the audacity to say, oh, he's so fine. In front of her man! <laughs> I stuck for a lot! <laughs> God forbid! And this guy even said, and he goes, he goes, what? <laughs> and she goes, yeah, he's so fine. She doubles down on it. She goes, yeah, he's so fine. She even, where's my glasses at? Fam, she, she had a glass on her head. She, she went, what? You know them, what? Whoa, he's so fine. And then this guy, this this guy is soft. He goes, yeah, I told you, I told you. What? What did you? What do you mean you told her? By the way, babe, you know there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good-looking guys in the group. Yeah, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of alpha-looking men, a lot, of, a lot of sexy individuals. Fam, this guy's moist. You better lock that opinion in your headpiece and dash it away. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to hear that. But this, 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 this guy, like, and this, and this is what I'm saying. This goes and then circling back to what I mean. This is what I'm saying. She was crying because she don't feel him. She don't, she don't feel him. So Zach and Irina have, have a conversation here and he's finally clocked here that she's pulled back basically. Or not finally clocked, he's finally brought it to her. And he basically says, yeah, maybe you know, back in the pods, you talking about control and how you didn't really like control and this, that and the other and blah, 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 blah. And he basically says like, you were so affectionate with me. You know what I'm saying? In the pods, like what kind of happened? And she goes, again, she says the wrong thing. She says, yeah, but all I heard was your voice. Now there's a face and body attached to it. I said, God forbid. <laughs> I said, what? Did she, did she know that was gonna come across as nasty and bitchy? Like, does she know? She's so immature. And I'm so glad that he is getting this version of her because he, he, he picked the wrong one, innit? Clown. And she even tries to flip it on him saying, what, I feel like you're kind of mad at me and you're throwing it against me because rah, 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 like, she just wasn't really taking accountability or really being honest with her feelings. Cause she's, we know, bro, but Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder and his blind ass dog can tell that flipping, she weren't interested in my man like that physically, you understand? So, and it just goes to show all that connecting, all that, oh yeah, connecting, oh, we love each other as people, we love each other's personalities. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, right. See how far, see how far loving people's personalities gets you when, you when you're not attracted to the person, bro. Come on, bro. You understand that like, it's not being—it's not being shallow. It's not about being shallow. It's about being real. You understand? You can't make love to a woman's emotions, bro. You can't make love to a woman's humor and empathy, bro. You want to blow her. You want to blow that big ass. You know what I'm saying? You want to blow that back up. You understand? You want to be sucking pump breasts like you're trying to get milk out of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Like. <laughs> anyway, Kwame and Chelsea have a little convo, and he basically says, "Listen, I, when we when we meet the other couples, I want to talk to her. what's that girl called, Micah. How do you feel about that?" And I'm thinking, bro, why is Micah still on your damn mind? And she's like, yeah, no, it's calm, it's calm, but we knew it weren't gonna be calm. And we knew exactly what was gonna go down when they met. Micah and Kwame hitting it off, ish, hitting it off. Cause we know she ain't interested, but he's interested for sure. So the, the couples, the other couples meet, yeah, Brett, round, Brett comes around the corner and Jackie's like, yo, he's kind of fan. And I was thinking, you, what? Whatever. Then Kwame, he's like, oh yeah, he's still so attracted to Micah. He even said, yeah, no matter what she had looked like, he would have been so encapsulated by her. Bro, what is, what spell, what Minecraft witchcraft does she have over my doggy Kwame? Kwame, what's wrong with you? I don't know what spell, what's that Harry Potter spell where they do, you got the, what, she, one of them curses. You've got the, you got the Cruciatus curse, the torture one. You've got Avada Kedavra, the killing curse. What's the other one? The other curse where you just, listen, my cut is doing that curse on my doggy Kwame. The, he's just mind control. I don't know what, what, what have we seen from Micah that can 
justify his love for her. I, I haven't seen it. I'm legally blind. I ain't seen it. So they all talk. They all kind of meet up in the couples, and they all the girls kind of talk about, oh, which one of you, which one of you stretched out your JJ? Which one, which one of you got beat out last night? And Tiffany, Tiffany basically sucked him off. Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea got, yeah, Chelsea got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the rest, nothing happened. I think. Now Micah and Kwame speak. Now my brother, I'm gonna give you donut of the day today, my doggy. Yeah. Firstly, you're such a donor, yeah, for giving so much of your time and energy into Micah. Yes, yes, I understand that you had the, the bigger connection with her through the walls. I understand it's difficult having to settle with, you, with your plan B, yeah. But at the end of the day, the only reason you had you had to use your plan B is because your plan A mugged you off, mugged you off twice. In fact, she mugs you off in today's episode. Talking about, yeah, let's have a shot. Let's have a shot to failed, here. cheers to failed proposals, my God. You are a proper donut, bro. You gave, you, 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 you hurt Chelsea today, yeah, by putting so much of your energy for buying into Micah's bullshit. You're sat there talking to her twice for 20, 30 minutes, like really getting suckered into her. She, she's one of the ones that just wants to suck your soul, you know what I'm saying? Collect your soul, collect your soul, collect your soul. She'll, she'll spit you out, bro. She got no interest in you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. The fact that he was sitting there mugging off Chelsea here was just, it just wasn't a good look, man. It wasn't a good look. He's a donut for just buying into her jargon. The way she was like, oh, I think you're so great. I'm here for you. She's like, oh, I was in love with you. Everything I felt for you was real. You know what I'm saying? Everything was genuine. Pick up on that. The first things first, it couldn't have been that genuine or you wouldn't have chose Paul. <laughs> so that's the first bit, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, it's not present tense, is it? She's talking about was. It's shocking, shocking stuff. Kwame, you're a clown for, for, for just getting sucked back into Micah's witchery. You know what I'm saying, her witchcraft. Irina finally admits that she gets the ick from Zach and she really wants Paul to be honest. She's like, Paul, Paul's gorgeous. Oh my God, like, oh my God, Paul, gorgeous. Brother, again, I'm not a woman in it, so I don't. Beauty really is in the eye of the beholder, innit? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Kwame and Brett, they're speaking about Micah, and my, yeah, again, he's just explaining how he like, used to sleep thinking about Micah, wake up thinking about Micah, and that. All while this is going on, yeah, Micah and Irina are like bitching about Chelsea, and like just really giggling and on this petty kind of toxic, I don't know. They're playing games, you understand? They, they, they're young, immature, like young mentally, innit? They play games just to test, just to throw like some spanner in the works. She's like, oh, can you get me? A oh, that's it, Chelsea's like, oh, can you get me like a kebab or something? I can't remember what she said. Can you get me some food? Oh no, tapas or something, pita bread or whatever. I can't remember, she said something, something. And then just to play games, yeah, the other girls are like, oh, Kwame, can you get us like two tequila shots and, sh and salt and all this stuff? And like, he's like, no, nah, get it yourself. And I'm glad. See, he wouldn't have got donut of the day if he had kept that energy. He said, hell no, you get it yourself. He, that's, that's real, that's certain energy. But bro, after that, he just capitulated like a moist ute, bro. They didn't have a shot and she goes, one shot for a failed proposal. Like, I'll be honest with you, even though that's a mad thing to say, he took it badly. Now, don't get me wrong, the reason he took it badly is because one, he's quite sensitive and two, it's because he literally loves the girl. So he's literally, it's like, it's like the girl you love just breaking your heart all over again. Because I know what Mike is like, you know it came from quite a, a malicious place, I believe. But at the same time, I believe she also has that humor where you can kind of poke fun at certain things. So I, I'm not gonna, I don't think it was that bad. It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't on at the same time. Like it was completely uncalled for, it was unnecessary, especially as Kwame, he's still soft. Yeah, well it's easy for you to make jokes when you're already on next man and you already don't really care for Kwame like that. Yeah, you can look at him in his eyes and you can talk in your soft voice. You know, we ain't, I, well, I know you ain't interested in Kwame. And I know you ain't really interested in, in Paul either to us. If I came swooping in there, late, late entrance, I would, I'd sweep Mike up real quick from both of them because she don't, because she ain't interested, bro. Anyway, he gets mad at it. They have a conversation. They're talking and rah, 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 rah. And she's just trying to reassure him that, yeah, all my feelings were genuine and uh, oh, I didn't really mean it, all this and the other. And then Chelsea's pre and them like, yo, why do they have to have so many conversations? Imagine if I was talking to Brett, you know, for 20, 30 minutes. How, how does that look? And I think Chelsea was right to get annoyed. Well, she, she was spot on to get annoyed because you can tell Kwame is really in his feelings now. You know, imagine, imagine, yeah, imagine if Kwame goes with Micah, Paul goes with Irina, and Chelsea just left there in the dust with her bags. You know what I'm saying? All this, oh yeah, what we have is real, and yeah, I can't wait to have this for the rest of my life. 
the very next day, the next morning, it's thrown into disarray. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying. He's a big, she's an adult as well. She's, she's like 30 years old. Come on, man. You must know how the real world works. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, guys. This is a long episode, boy. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.